All right. Is that worth a hundred bucks? Eighty bucks? Whatever the hell they're selling them for? Let's see. Now you don't want to use the sticks they provide with them because they stick like hell. Ah, uh, just cheap. Use a Hobart. Let's see the rest of the video. I'll show you what this thing's all about. Hey guys, pardon all the noise out here, but I've got this cool little welder and I've been seeing these all over Amazon and other places. And I'll put you a couple links below the video to this because I think the name don't matter, but it pulls a buttload of juice. It says right down here, here's the specs. All right, you got that? And now these are the specs. Now, I don't think it's pulling 4,600 watts through a, I don't know, look like, what do, they, what do they call that? Two by two millimeter squared. So what is that? That's 14 gauge, roughly. And um, I'm running it into 10 gauge cable, but this is going to get you. First time I ever used it. I'm out here on a frame, okay? I blew holes through the damn metal. This is 11 gauge. This is 3 sixteenths. I blew holes through it. Just trying it out. So it's a hell of a lot more powerful than I expected. And I was running it on right there on four. Now it goes all the way to five on the settings. It's got settings here. It's got a power switch right here. It's got a little fan in it and it's really light. And it's only it's less than a hundred bucks for these things or right at a hundred bucks comes with a case now how much faith they got in this thing but y'all pardon the generator running in the background that's how we have to do these jobs um this is the rods they send with it now that's pretty hefty eighth inch rod for something that's like this what i do is i pick up these quick strikes or i pick up these hope arts i'll put the link to these these are the ones that are working really really good with this welder is these the quick strikes are doing good too but right there these hole barts are impressive on it and i'll grab a little quick strike here and these are 332 second rods i think is that what it says it is kira what is it no 116 116 rods 116 rods it'll run a 330 seconds i've already tried one i only had a single rod on it and it did okay so let me show you what it's good for All right, use the phone to block your view of the well, all right? Now, I'm making me a T-handle. This right here is a one and three eighths fence rail, top rail, it's galvanized. And this will fit into 10 foot sections of fence rail so that you can use it for reaching things. And I got a T-handle and it allows me to make anything I want out of it. So. I'm going to grab one of the little rods, and the way it works is you push down on this, and it gets in the electrode right there, or the grip. It's off at a little bit of an angle, but you can easily bend it straight if you want to. Now, I've got my ground clamp, but it's a pretty decent ground clamp. It's running six-gauge cable on it, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to hit it on this so you'll see how quick it arcs out. Turn the power on, and if I, if I'm, you can hear the fan running. All right. If you can't hear me, I got a helmet on, and I'll dub it in with some text. Okay, but 
putting that on there. Still burning too hot. That was on three and it's blowing holes through it. This actually creates like a plasma field that comes out of the tip instead of a regular arc. It's really different for some reason. Not hot enough. Now that's a little bit of a crappy weld. That's the third time I've used this. And I'm welding, I'm blowing holes. See that? That's how hot. Now that is 16 gauge, a 16 gauge. Yeah, 16 gauge and this is 095. Pretty good, so let's lay it flat and see what it does on filling. But you'll see it's literally blowing plasma out. Still too hot. Now that was better. Man, I'll tell you what, if you need something to do a quick repair, I can't get I can't get past the price. Oh, there we go. Pushed it in too far, so some of its uh, flux got on there. But I can't get past the price that just, it comes with a hood that's about as worthless as tits on a boar hog. But if you're in a, if you're in a pinch, I mean, hell, that'll work. I wouldn't say that these rods are gonna do you a lot of justice, but they may. I haven't tried one of them very long. I just did a short run with one of them and it stuck twice. I jacked it up to five and that's what blew the hole through that back here. So if you look, pretty crappy because of the two different sizes of metal thicknesses. But hell, I'm impressed. I'm going to get used to using it because hell, if it only lasts you six months, if you've got something to fix like a frame piece on your car, hell, that's this pretty decent. The uh, lead on here is only about four foot cord's about five foot, you know, but for the money, pretty good, and helmets. And if you guys want to know how to change out the batteries in these because they're horrible, there's guys on the vid on got videos, just look up Yes Welder helmet battery, and there's guys that show you how to do that. All right, a little short video, sorry about all the generator noise, but I wanted to show this to you guys because if you're doing little small projects, welding up a rack for solar, something like that great otherwise that's what i've been using that's what's building but i might get used to this thing i love it it just needs a longer cord here not longer ground cable and i can fix that here pretty soon all right y'all guys be good